what I give Sagey as well. Sage is my almost nine month old daughter. Oh, hang on. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and today I am doing another grocery haul. We actually did a grocery shop last night and I kind of wish we did it earlier and I would have just like unboxed or hauled everything for you guys then. I actually shared a photo on Instagram of our overfilled cart. I brought like one of those small ones thinking I'm just grabbing a couple things and then here we are. <laughs> grocery explosion. But we needed a lot of stuff, a lot of produce and I was hungry, so it was before dinner time, clearly. But I thought I would just share what I got, give you guys some inspo, recipe inspo that I'm thinking about making with this stuff. So um, before we hop in, if you aren't already subscribed, click that subscribe button down below. It's free, it's free, and you get new videos every single week. I do mommy content, vlogs, uh, what I eat in a days, grocery hauls, all the things. So make sure you are part of the Health Nut community so you don't miss out on a video. All right, let's hop right in so I can get the stuff back into the fridge. All right, I'm gonna start with the proteins. So I actually shared these on Instagram the other day. These are so good. They are the Yorkshire Valley Farms uh, frozen organic chicken breast fillets. They are a little bit pricier than just like your generic chicken, frozen chicken fingers or whatever but they are so good. It just tastes like real food. I find like even things that are in the freezer section that are more like convenience items, you can find better alternatives. And these just taste like real chicken. Every time we cook these up, we're like, these are so good. And so I don't mind spending a little bit more. It's still a processed food, but I like to be able to recognize the ingredient list and know what I'm eating and serving for my family. So these are great. They have like little nuggets. They have um, burgers, uh, just regular raw chicken. And I just really like this brand. They're Canadian. So I always like to support a Canadian brand. Then we also got some eggs. I actually already ate a few. I boiled some up this morning for breakfast. Um, I just, I usually try to get free range organic eggs. This is what I give Sagey as well. Sage is my almost nine month old daughter. Oh, hang on. And I just love to scramble up eggs for her. And I just like to try to get the best quality eggs because I feel like they just taste so much better. Ideally, I'd have a little farm down the road that I could just go pick up farm fresh eggs. But until then, I, get, I try to get the best at the grocery store, the best that I can find anyways. Um, this here, I'm really excited to try. It's by, it's called Nona Vegan. I've never seen this before and there was three different flavors. There was like a regular cheese one. I think, was there, this is the Alfredo. There was something else. And I was very intrigued because the ingredient list is bomb guys. It's like, or what do they say? It's fire, it slaps. I know all the lingo guys, I do, I do. I love that for me. Love that for me. How many Gen, what is it called? Gen X? Gen Z. Gen Z references did I just use in that sentence? So this is, it's a vegan cashew sauce Alfredo style. So I'm thinking you just warm it up with some pasta. I also picked up some mushrooms and I'm really excited to try this because the ingredients are so good. It's just like, because sometimes you look at this stuff, you're like, is it just a bunch of oils and fillers? It's not. So Nona vegan, I'm really excited to try that. I also got some tofu, just extra firm tofu. And I'm planning on doing like a peanut tofu stir fry dish. So that's what that is for. I'm like trying to test out some really easy dinner recipes to hopefully share with you guys in the near future. So that will be maybe on there if it turns out good. I also got some, uh, this is a roasted red pepper hummus. I really like this brand, Fontaine Sante. And then I love, I feel like I've talked about this so much. I love this cream cheese. It's by Arla. It just tastes like real cream cheese. I can't even go to Tim Hortons now and get their cream cheese. Like it tastes like garbage. Like I'm not, I don't know what it is. It's not real cream cheese. I'm sorry, Timmy's. It just, it's not. It's yeah, like has this you weird, you get in a block. Chloe used to work at Tim Hortons, fun fact. It just tastes, it has this weird like sweet taste too and like, plastic i don't know it's gross i don't like it i'm sorry i thought that's what cream cheese tasted like growing up it's not i don't know what it is it ain't real cream cheese okay so i got some mushrooms for the all pasta alfredo i also have some strawberries i'm actually going to be making my rainbow chopped salad from my cookbook 
it's so good and it's a really good meal prep salad because it has a lot of vegetables in it that don't go soggy so you can make it and have it in the fridge for a few days and what actually inspired me to make that is I found some yellow squash at the grocery store and I, I guess this is like a certain season for it because it's hard to find here in Ontario most of the year and usually when you find it they just look really sad but these looked so good and I'm just gonna be buying this non-stop until it goes out of season again it sounds like a pair of jeans like I'm gonna be wearing this all the time until it goes out of season in that salad there's yellow squash and regular zucchini and it's just the best salad it has like vegetables with some strawberries and this delicious tahini dressing it's really yummy so I might actually make that tonight We'll see if I have time. Um, I got some peppers. It's barbecue season, so I've been grilling peppers nonstop. I got the trio. I got some cucumber. I got two of those. I also got some celery, which I feel like I don't buy that often because we just don't eat a ton of it. Um, but it is in that salad, so I got that. It's all like the crunchy veggies that are in that salad, which just, mm, so good. Also, speaking of barbecue, I got some corn. The town that we live in is actually like we're just surrounded by farms and corn is definitely in season right now. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this is just local Ontario corn, which I'm very excited to eat. I usually like to boil it for a little bit and then just finish it off on the barbecue and it's like mwah, chef's kiss. I got a nice big bag of organic carrots. I will even just like peel these, chop them up and dip them in hummus. I'm trying not to buy baby carrots anymore. I feel like they taste not as good. Right, they don't taste that good. Yeah, are you got yay or nay baby carrots? When we were in Florida at Whole Foods, they you could actually buy like just mini carrot sticks, like not baby carrots, but sticks. And I don't know if we have that here at Whole Foods, but I haven't seen it, and I would really love that. It was nice. I got a bunch of organic. These are Pink Lady apples, one of my favorite brands or kinds of apples. And I've been really into making homemade applesauce. I never loved applesauce growing up. I thought it just tasted really gross. The texture, something about it. And then when I was pregnant, I did eat applesauce a bit when I was having nausea and stuff. And as like a late night snack that would sit well in my stomach. But for Sage, I've been, <laughs> Sage gets all the, all the homemade gourmet food. I've been making homemade applesauce and oh, it's the easiest recipe. I actually shared how to make it in my recent baby food meal prep video. And it is like three ingredients, one of those being water, and it's so good. 20 minutes and you have applesauce. It like, mm, warm off the stove. I am now a fan of applesauce and I got more apples for it. So I also got some tomatoes. I like the ones on the vine. I feel like they just ripen sweeter, even though this one fell off of it. Um, I got some plums. It's like plum, apricot, nectarine, peach season right now. So we got plums. I also want to uh, have Sage try plums. I'm trying to introduce like new foods to her every week. Um, I got a bunch of avocados. You know what? I, I love, you guys know, I love avocados, but they weren't something we ate like every single week. And now with Sage, like I feel like she, I don't know, it's just an easy baby food to mash up for healthy fats on the side. So we always have avocados. And I kind of love it because we can always make guacamole. I can just add it to whatever we're eating. And I just, avocado is so good. And then I also got some uh, kiwis here. Um, so high in vitamin C. I had some for breakfast this morning on the side of my hard boiled eggs and peanut butter and jelly toast. And then I got a big thing of peaches, not from Georgia. Where are these from? Niagara. I actually just had, my mom made some peach pie the other day. It was so good. So she inspired me. I'm gonna maybe make something like a baked peach dessert, some kind of baked something. And I also got a big thing of cherries because these are in season right now too. So I find if you buy cherries not in season, they're so expensive, but um, yeah, they're a good, good time to buy them. I got two things of bananas. Once again, it's a great, quick and easy baby food, um, but I also just like them for banana bread, freezing for smoothies, and even just like slicing and having with peanut butter is really good as a quick snack. Some other veggies, I got this coleslaw mix. This is great for like fish tacos, just on the side if you're doing a barbecue like with corn and, or something, this is really yummy. And it's so easy just to make a marinade for it. And then I got some bok choy, baby bok choy. Um, this is gonna be for the stir fry with the tofu. 
I got red cabbage. This is for my chopped rainbow salad and some broccoli, which is also for that salad. So like, like I said, all the crunchy stuff. I don't buy red cabbage enough, but I do love it. I only buy it though when I know I have a recipe to use it for. Otherwise it just doesn't get used and it goes bad and it, that's a sad time, you know? So I like to have something in mind and I even just like shredding it up is really nice in a salad or like sauteing it or something is yummy. But yeah, that's what is, this is gonna be used for. And then I got a thing of baby, organic baby spinach. I've been honestly not buying as many greens from the store because we have, our garden is thriving. We have Swiss chard, we have kale, um, we got lots of herbs and I'm trying to think what else we have. We have tomatoes, but they're not done. Like they're still growing. We have cucumber that is taking over. I feel like cucumber and zucchini beware. They just take over your garden. So we did not do zucchini this year. Last year I learned you need a very big garden for zucchini. Um, okay. So we got some canned stuff. Um, this is my favorite. Um, this is my favorite tomato pasta sauce is so good. Rayo's is a little bit pricier, tastes homemade, homemade. I promise you're going to be like, is it worth the price tag? It's not even organic. I don't know why it's so expensive. Maybe because it tastes so good. Italian whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onions, garlic, salt, basil, black pepper, oregano. That is it. There's not even like a preservative in here. Oh, no artificial ingredients. It says it's so, I, it tastes like, Somebody's Nona made it and jarred it and brought it to my home. Like it's that good. So you just have to try it. Just suck up the price tag once and then you'll be like, oh, it's really good. Um, but also Costco carries it. You can get like two or three for like way cheaper. These are like some of my new favorite condiments. It's by Good Food for Good and they make ketchup, barbecue, they definitely make some other sauces, but basically they're sweetened with dates. The ingredients are amazing. Um, like I said, all things I can pronounce, like I could literally make this. Like part of me wants to make it, but also I don't have time to make it, so I bought it. But I got the barbecue and the ketchup. I'm not gonna lie, the ketchup tastes different than like, even like the organic ketchup that you buy that you like, you oh, it's healthier. It still has sugar in it and stuff. This is just sweetened with dates. Um, so I feel like it's just one gram of sugar per tablespoon. So low in sugar, but they're using like a date to sweeten instead of just sugar, which I love. And the barbecue sauce is really good. This tastes more like regular barbecue sauce than this tastes like regular ketchup. But honestly, like once you go through a jar of this, you'll be accustomed to the flavor. It's just a little bit more tomatoey than like regular processed ketchup, but it is really good. I got a can of sliced black olives, good for pizza. Just snacking on I, I just love olives so the like even the black ones the whole ones that you can get that are already pitted are really just a fun little snack i got some unsalted chicken bone broth i like cooking my grains in there like my rice and stuff i got two things of milk this one by silk is really good they're almond coconut it is so creamy it's really good for dipping homemade chocolate chip cookies in it like really good it's so creamy and then this is like our go-to unsweetened oat milk. This one's from Earth Balance or Earth's Own. And I really like both of those. I want to get back into making my own like dairy-free nut and oat milks. I actually have never made homemade oat milk, but I really want to try getting back into that because I just feel like a lot of the store-bought ones, they still have fillers and stuff and we just drink it like water in this house and our smoothies and stuff. And I think especially as sage starts to get into this stuff, I feel like it'd be nice to make it from scratch. It is really easy. It is. I just like need to get into the habit of it. So if I do, I will definitely document that for you guys. Okay. So we have a few things here. Um, these Lily's milk chocolate baking chips. These are really good. I love the Lily's brand. They're all sweetened with stevia and they don't taste like they're sweetened with something else. They just taste like sugar. It's really good. And I love making chocolate chip cookies with these. Um, they even have like chocolate covered peanuts that are so good and almonds and like delicious. Highly recommend trying those out. I got some rice crackers. I love this brand. They're just sesame rice crackers. Really good for hummus, 
cheese and crackers, charcuterie board. I got some uh, old fashioned rolled oats. Um, I even like using this for grinding up and making oatmeal for sage. And um, what else do I use this for? My granola bars that are in my cookbook and just regular oatmeal for Matt and I. So always have these on hand. I got some breadcrumbs. This is one of my favorite ones, the Panariso. They are gluten-free. You guys know I'm not gluten-free. I buy a lot of gluten-free stuff because I find that I eat like a low gluten diet. These ones are made with rice flour and potato starch. So just like simple ingredients. Yeah, and these are just nice to have on hand when I am doing like my own homemade chicken breast strips and stuff. But um, yeah, these, oh, or meatballs. This is the one I add. I got some brown long grain rice, probably for the peanut or like the peanut tofu stir fry. Or I can do rice noodles, I don't know yet. Um, I got some walnuts and banana chips. I'm really into banana chips, they're so good. I want to open this up before I started filming. Um, they're just delicious. And actually walnuts and bananas together, they just taste like banana bread. It's really yummy. It's like just grab a little handful of each one. You got yourself a little nice little treat. And then this is what was in the oven. I am just cooking these up for lunch. Um, these are the Amy's burritos. I like these, they're quick go-to like lunch. Um, keep them in the freezer and then when you need a quick lunch, they're a good go-to. And then I'll just like have some avocado on the side, a little sriracha and it's delish. So I think that's about it, guys. Did I, did I forget anything? Oh, yes, there is something in the freezer. Thanks, Chloe. Totally forgot some freezer items that always happens. Okay, I got my favorite ice cream, one of my favorite ice creams, there's a few I like. Uh, this one from So Delicious, it's the Salted Caramel Cluster. It's a cashew-based ice cream. Whether you are dairy-free or not, it's like one of the best ice creams, hands down. Um, and then I also got, so a few things for barbecues. These hamburger buns, hamburger, these hamburger buns, they're by Odo's. Deluxe hamburger buns, they're gluten-free. They're like super seedy, almost like an everything bagel seasoning. They are so good. I got two packs of these because they're sometimes hard to find. I got them at Sobeys and mm, they're just, like they don't taste gluten-free. They're so good. They almost taste like they're buttered. I don't know. Check them out. They're really good. And this is something I tried a couple months ago and really liked. It's wild shrimp burgers. And I'm a big like seafood person. So these are like, like right up my alley. Um, like I would rather a shrimp burger than like a regular beef burger. Like these were really good. They're quite thin, but they are good. And I actually did try them with these buns. And then I got this sprouted bread from Silver Hills. It's the squirrely one. Really like that. And I like breads that this one already, you can buy it in the freezer section, but usually I like storing my breads in the freezer anyways, because we don't eat a ton of bread in this house. So the fact that these are both in the freezer is perfect. So I'm gonna put these back in the freezer and my ice cream so it doesn't melt. Oh, and there's one more thing. Hang on, hang on one sec. Okay, then I got, they're already pre-done salmon and veggie like shish kebabs. They look good, right? Yeah, Chloe's drooling. Um, so I might have these tonight, but yeah. I mean, you can definitely make these, but I got them already done. And then I also got a thing of organic chicken thighs. It's probably my favorite part of the chicken is the thighs. I feel like they're just like not dry, more flavorful, and um, that's really what I've been feeding sage as well. So anyways, I don't know what I'm doing with these yet. I might do like a sheet pan chicken teriyaki dish that I'm testing out with this. So that is the plan. I'm gonna put these back in the fridge. One sec. And there you have it. That is everything I got uh, from the grocery store. If there's a specific grocery store that you would like me to do, whether online or a like physical store, let me know. I could do a Whole Foods one. There's not one near me, so I'd have to drive out to it. Um, I could also do, yeah, like an online grocery store as well. Um, let me know, leave me a comment down below. Maybe I'll do like a poll. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you love grocery hauls. And I have a whole playlist with more of them if you enjoy watching them. Maybe you could just like be playing it while you're unpacking your groceries, because that's always a fun task. I feel like it's like you get home, you're like, Time to clean out the fridge, put this all away. Like it's nice when it's done, but the process is sometimes a bit labor intensive. So maybe I can just be hanging out with you while you do that. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go put this all away and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.